Hello everyone, my name is uh, Sriram. I'm the uh, Director of Product Management here at uh, Arista Networks. I'm part of the uh, Cognitive Campus Business Unit. Uh, first off, uh, welcome to all the delegates. It's uh, great to see you all in person in the same room. Um, I hope you've been having a great uh, mobility field day so far. And to those that are joining us online, uh, welcome as well. Um, we are super excited to be back again, presenting at this mobility field day. Uh, we have some exciting sessions lined up, so I hope you all have fun and enjoy. So uh, with that, a quick rundown of uh, today's agenda. With that, let's get started with what's new with the uh, Arista Cognitive Campus. So um, for many of you, uh, you might think of Arista as the leader in data center networking and cloud networking uh, and the company that uh, uh, pioneered the low latency switching technology. But what I'm here to do is I'm here to give a view of the broad technology in the market that we play in, uh, really. So over the last couple of years, uh, we have uh, presented in multiple uh, tech field day events, uh, including service provider field day, security field day, multiple mobility field days with you all, uh, multiple networking field days, really showcasing the breadth of a product portfolio across all these areas. So we are not that small kid on the block anymore. Um, we have really diversified our product portfolio, our technology, our solution to address uh, diverse needs and use case in the broader enterprise networking uh, uh, space. So coming to campus, I mean, our story in campus really started in 2018, right? Where we launched the uh, first, you know, POE access switches for campus. We acquired Mojo Networks to bring in the wireless stack in-house. And over the last couple of years, I mean, we have presented and, and showcased uh, to this group all the technologies and the innovations that we have brought on the campus side, right? Um, but since the Mobility Field Day uh, that we presented in last October, we have made two significant announcements. Um, one is the launch of Arista WAN routing system. Uh, this is built organically on top of uh, EOS and Cloud Vision, uh, the same platform that powers our switching technology. However, we're not going to be talking about the WAN routing system in today's uh, uh, MFT. The second is uh, the launch of exciting new product our cloud-based uh, NAC uh, identity solution called uh, Cloud Vision Agni. And a big portion of uh, today's Mobility Field Day is going to be dedicated for uh, you know, talking about our NAC solution. So um, before we dive deep, I just want to give a context of uh, you know, the motivation behind building you know, our own NAC solution. So like I mentioned before, uh, we are seeing tremendous growth in our campus business. Uh, in, in, in the FI22 earnings call, our uh, CEO, Jayshree, uh, mentioned that we have doubled our booking uh, uh, in FI22 to north of 400 million. And we've been you know, growing since then in, in 2023. And um, if you really look at the, uh, uh, the campus tech stack, I mean, you have wired, you have wireless, and then you have NAC to complete the network security uh, uh, portfolio. Um, and every time we deployed our solution, our wired and wireless in large enterprise customers, uh, most often we'll have to work with an existing NAC solution, right? And mostly it's either, you know, eyes and, and the usual, usual suspects, right? ClearPass or Forescout. And we felt that uh, that was a gap in our product portfolio as we went and offered the solution to our customers in the campus. Uh, we also felt that building our own solution uh, that is natively integrated with our wired wireless, uh, you know, we'll be able to provide much more value and a compelling solution for a campus, uh, for a campus customers. So this was really about rounding our product portfolio on the campus side, that's number one. The second motivation is uh, we strongly believe that the current NAC solutions out there run on legacy uh, on-prem architecture that's uh, hard to scale, hard to deploy, hard to manage, hard to configure, creating huge operational nightmare. And I think it's time for disruption in the NAC space. And, uh, and, 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 and here we are, super excited to announce that we launched uh, Cloud Vision Agni. Agni stands for uh, Arista Guardian for Network Identity. And it just turned out that Agni in Hindi means fire. Um, and I'll let you all guess uh, the joke around it. Um, Agni melts 
fill in the blanks and and, and let you uh, let you let you fill that up. But um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we never you know designed it that way. But uh, Agni stands for Arista Guardian for Network Identity. Uh, it's um, uh, built on the cloud, uh, delivered from the cloud uh, using uh, modern cloud first principles. It's built on top of the same uh, cloud vision platform, delivering three compelling values. Um, it's simple, it's scalable, it's secure. And we'll talk about all of this in detail in the later session. And finally, to wrap up, the uh, on the product portfolio side, as you know, we have a broad range of products uh, on the switching uh, 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 for the campus. Uh, I just want to call out uh, specifically that uh, we've announced uh, in the last couple of months a few um, uh, fixed form factor you know, PUE switches on the 720 series, 720 DT and DP. Um, and on the wireless side, uh, in Jan this year, we launched our Wi-Fi 6E wall plate um, uh, desktop mount access point. Uh, this is a uh, Wi-Fi 6E 2 cross 2 uh, tri-radio 2 gig, uh, 5, 6, 6 gig hertz. Um, really targeted towards uh, hospitality, um, university dorms, MDU, and remote home office type solution. So it has uh, it has an uplink port uh, on the back, um, uh, three uh, uh, three LAN ports. Uh, it's got a pass through, um, uh, so really targeted towards you know uh, those kind of deployments. And and this has been shipping since uh, since Jan this year. Uh, pretty powerful access point. Uh, the second is uh, we are also launching our mid tier Wi Fi sixty access point, the C three thirty. Uh, this is again a two cross two uh, tri radio 2.456 gig, but it also has the additional multifunction radio, uh, tri brand multifunction radio that does scanning and can also act as a client. And we'll talk about some of that uh, 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 in detail. Uh, this is uh, this is going to start shipping in in June uh, next month. Quick question on the other one, the yeah. mm, that you had first. Can it uh, can it by any chance do? Um, DHCP also uh, on 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 the on the uh, uh, on, on the AP itself. Right. Yeah, we support NAT mode, uh, and and through NAT mode you can you can offer DHCP to the uh, to the clients. So I can yeah. or I can set up a DHCP server on it, and clients can connect and grab a DHCP from it. Like mm -hmm. if I don't have another DHCP server, very specific use case scenario. Yeah, yeah. So so um, you I, you cannot set up like a DHCP server policy. You can set up a a, a NAT mode, and we will offer. Like uh, a private IP subnet to those to those to those clients, but it's not it's not it can be right now it can be used as a DHCP server just like how we do how we would configure a DHCP uh, a server policy. Okay, but like I can have it connect to, let's say, an upstream uh, modem, right? Like a yeah yeah, a, a, yeah. whatever ISP Spectrum yeah. Comcast or whatever yeah. uh, on the you know so so I'll get like the. The whatever IP, IP they, yes. they offer, yeah. and then on the LAN ports, on the LAN side and on the wireless side, my clients can grab uh, work, and I mean in the NAT mode, can just yeah. grab whatever private IP you will give. Correct. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what was uh, the model of that? Uh, this is the uh, W318. I'm sorry. Uh, this is W318 um, uh, uh, wall plate, and uh, this is the uh, C330. All right. So just to wrap up, um, uh, you know, for those. Um, uh, commercial and small medium distributed deployments, um, uh, you know, that needs secure WAN connectivity. We have the uh, micro edge portfolio, and uh, the Q60WL uh, spe specifically has uh, a cellular backup for for backhaul connectivity. Uh, 